The Kalinga people, living in the beautiful land of rice terraces and white water rapids, have actually no tribal name. They call themselves Takugami, we are men, or Ilutakami, we are the people of earth. The first step in the manufacture of pots is the acquisition of the starting material, clay. The clay is then pounded, added with enough amount of water to reach the wanted flexibility and place in a rotating plate. Using the hand modeling and coil and scrape techniques, the height, thickness, and shape of the pot is established. After this, the rim is designed by placing a wet rock on top of it and then rotating it on the other direction. Furthermore, scraping of the walls can also be done if the walls produced are too thick. The pot, after the modeling stage, is then dried for a short period of time before the base is shaped. In some cases, pots are also painted with red hematite paint. Also, after additional heating, small amounts of clay are added inside and outside the pot to maintain the evenness of the surface. A polishing step can also be done through the use of a polishing stone. When hardened, polish it with itchy eat and dry under the sun until ready to be burned. Prepare and arrange the alikatong for the pots to be burned. Cover the piled sticks with dry stalks and kogon then start the fire to burn the pots. Cook the pots into hardened stuff and then apply the leaf food while the stuff is still hot. Giving back not just through buying but through educating ourselves. A simple way through which we could be involved in the preservation, promotion, and appreciation of indigenous crafts. Because each of these crafts tell a whole biography from which tribe it came from to what the true purpose of the craft is. This is Annalie Estonato of 3BEE, and I am Indigenous.